Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In near reincarnation, I've reached a day 80 of my account, so let's have a look. I started about a week uh, after launch. I started on the uh, Summer Hatcher, so that's why I'm not at uh, 87 or whatever it is. And as always, I'll say that I'm a uh, free-to-play uh, without computer assistance. And I'm not saying that I'm free to play because I think it's anything to be proud of. I'm actually ashamed because I don't have a, a credit card for this account. But saying that up front uh, can give us some context about how far I've gotten in the, uh, in the game. Uh, but this is convenient. Right below that we have the, uh, the subjugations. These are wrapping up in about a day or two. Uh, but we can look at my scores for all of the, um, the levels here, the different elements. But yeah, I've gotten the... Uh, 450k missions for all of the five elements. Um, so I was able to get the, uh, the books there and that's a really good uh, I guess like a stopping point for uh, maybe more free to play or more casual users. The uh, the whales and stuff I think maybe they are uh, playing the stage three the hardest difficulty and then you know getting all the rewards there. Uh, but I'm not quite there yet it'll take me some time so yeah I've kind of reached that first plateau. Although, uh, this one here, I'm very close to getting this uh, Lavender Cube, so I might want to push for that. Maybe I have two more tries. But nice thing about these uh, missions, uh, there's no rush, they'll just be here forever. So if I don't get it this time, I'll get it uh, next time. Okay, but let's look at my account. I guess I can show you companions first. And then I've done a lot of work in the last uh, couple days uh, to raise levels for the ones that I'm going to use in Subjugations. And then I was thinking about making a video about like best companions for subjugations, uh, but it would be like a three minute video. Uh, basically get a uh, support, as many uh, supports as you can uh, for every element. And then for the rest of them, uh, just get defense breaks and attack buffs. And so that's like what all of these are. So yeah, defense break, attack buff, attack buff. Uh, that's nothing. Attack buff, attack buff, attack buff. That might have been something else. Here's a defense break. And this is a, a critical thing, so yeah. That's my guide to companions. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the uh, the very hard of the, uh, the chapters 7 through 12, because that will give us even more companions. So that'll be even more combinations of uh, elements and uh, abilities. Uh, water support, there's only two of those. I would like a third so I could uh, fill out a full subjugation team. Uh, memoirs don't really have anything to say here. My memoirs are okay, but of course I could spend more time on them. I will when I have nothing else to do. <laughs> All right, and then weapons. I feel pretty good about these. I'm missing certain things like water short swords and stuff. Uh, that really became apparent uh, with subjugations. And then all of the, uh, the dark memory weapons I would like to take to stage five. Uh, but that's going to take a uh, Lavender Cube each, so that's going to be a while. And then also it's going to kind of put off when I get the uh, Dark Memory version of Griff, but maybe that's a sacrifice I'll have to make. <laughs> okay, and then we got uh, characters. Let's see, four stars. I have been using uh, Zero, and Gale, and Lars... And that's about that there. And then we can look at a four-star Hatcher characters. I got the tanky Akeha, which I'm very pleased with. I'm waiting for some high uh, difficulty content where she would be good. And then I'm tempted to use uh, books to um, ascend her. And we had a lot of books recently, I think. So I actually have 40, uh, but I used uh, two sets uh, for characters. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I do have my eye on tanky Akiha. Uh, Argo, he's my best uh, spear user. He's been pretty great. Been using him in subjugations. Uh, here's the uh, the doll Fio. I'd like to level her someday, but she's super low priority. Uh, she has the, uh, the skill where if she has some kind of status ailment, she can get uh, extra damage. So I'm waiting for a fist uh, that can give herself a uh, status ailment. Okay, here's Summer Akiha. I finally use the books on her to take her from 85 to 90. Uh, part of that is just so I can maybe eke out that uh, 800k clear of the, uh, the subjugation quest, but we'll see. But yeah, attack is uh, sky high. 
she's easily the best attacker on my account here. Okay, Summer Fio, she's solid. Here's a ball-headed girl. She is great. I gave her the books earlier. Uh, here is kind of the standard uh, Leon. He's interesting, but he's also low priority. I have other Leons that I want to work on. Ah, here. I pulled this from the, uh, the DoD3 banner. Uh, I also want Zero, so I'm going to keep pulling that. Uh, but I also really, really wanted uh, this version. Uh, she is a fist user with the, uh, the party heal. And that also cures the status ailment. Uh, very, very rare. Uh, zero, I think, would have a very big impact on my account in the short term, because I have no four-star uh, short sword users. But in the long term, I think I'm going to appreciate having Fio, uh, this version of Fio, more. Just because she's so unique and kind of well-rounded. Uh, okay, and then the other set of books I also used was on uh, Leon here. He's also very strong. Super happy to have him. Glad I started uh, the account on him, actually. And then we got Demas. Also used uh, some books on him. He's been great. And then here's the 9S Leon. I pulled him a couple times. I would like to uh, kind of level him up and then use him, just for a change of pace from the uh, Summer Leon. And then here is the, uh, the handout. Fio, she's been really good, too. I've been seeing a lot of people use her, actually. Uh, they'll use her main weapon, a variety of elements, but then the sub-weapons are always uh, two dark weapons to really boost her stats. And then as we go forward, we're going to see more and more units like this, which are sort of uh, element-focused. But yeah, my account, I feel like it's strong. Uh, if you take into account like how kind of poor my pulls have been. <laughs> Uh, the summer units, of course, I got them very near max. Uh, but otherwise, I've just been pulling a bunch of Fios and Leons. So I still don't have a, a Hatcher, 4-star Spear user, or Short Sword user. And so that's why I'm relying on like handout units or 3-star uh, units. So it's been a little bit of a struggle, but that's part of the fun of playing a free-to-play account. You have to try to make the, uh, the best of what you have. It's not so much playing on hard mode as it is playing on uh, slow mode. Um, after like six months or a year, I'm sure this free-to-play account will be pretty strong. Uh, but for now, I'm uh, like with subjugations, just kind of struggling with the easiest uh, difficulty level. Uh, but that just means I have more to look forward to in the future. And uh, yeah, this game does a good job of making every uh, power level of your account uh, fun, and then also making the leveling itself fun. Okay, that was a look at my account after 80 days. Uh, looking forward to the next 80 days. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.